Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves officially kicked off his campaign for Governor of Mississippi tonight. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris was there and joins us to tell us more about on, this uh, announcement. As, uh, was one. Melanie Tate Reeves has served Mississippi as state treasurer for eight years and now he's wrapping up his last year as Lieutenant Governor, vying to take the next step and become Governor of the Magnolia State. For Tate Reeves, the goal of his kickoff speech was to paint differences between him and the Democratic frontrunner, Attorney General Jim Hood. Jim Hood won't, but I will. Reeves is in a primary against State Representative Robert Foster and former Mississippi Chief Justice Bill Waller, but didn't address either directly. Are you underestimating your primary opponents? Well, we are focused on, uh, as uh, was once said, the main thing is to keep the main thing. And the main thing in 2019 is the liberal ideas of the party of Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Jim Hood. Jim Hood is striking back, saying Reeves should begin by coming clean with Mississippi voters about his relationship with Intergy, something the AG is litigating in court. Reeves addressed education, touting his work in giving teachers a pay raise and tackling infrastructure. We've still got more work to do and we'll continue to work uh, on infrastructure, everything from potholes to ports and everything in between. It's Reeves is against a gas or usage tax, something his opponents are for. The same goes for Medicaid expansion. Reeves is against it, but his opponents would like to see it reformed in some way. We can improve access and quality health care across Mississippi uh, without uh, Obamacare. I will tell you, this is one of the primary differences between Jim Hood and me, is he believes that Obamacare is the solution. Reeves also addressed his record as a conservative protecting religious freedoms and talked a great deal about being fiscally responsible while creating jobs. Justice. Bill Waller, who is also running in the primary, says our next governor must have the background, values, and temperament to tackle the tough challenges facing our state. Representative Robert Foster says Mississippi has tremendous potential and we're only being held back by career politicians that want to keep the status quo. Melanie. Thank you. And just a reminder that WJTV 12 is your local election headquarters. We'll have everything that you need to know ahead of the August 6th primaries and Election Day on November 5th.